Affordable phones have become so good these days and uh, these phones come with almost all the main features that you'd need in your device. A good screen, reliable camera and solid battery life, you get everything. Case in point, these two recently launched smartphones, the Motorola G85 and the CMF Phone 1. Of course, they are quite the lookers, but the main question is, which is the better one when it comes to battery life and endurance? That is what we are here to find out. But first, let me give you the prices of both these devices and then I'm going to show you the differences between these two. So of course, the CMF Phone 1 starts lower than the G85, but also comes with less RAM. While the G85 has a 256 GB storage variant, but that costs 2000 rupees more than the CMF Phone 1. In this case, I think the sweet spot is the 8 plus 128 GB version of both phones, which also costs the same. And anyway, you're getting a hybrid SIM slots on both these devices. So if you do need that extra storage, you can always expand it on both these smartphones and 8 GB RAM on both these phones, I think. So it's more than enough for an affordable device. Now let's take a quick look at the key highlights of both these phones. So while the Moto G85 gets a curved plastic OLED display, the CMF Phone 1's flat AMOLED panel boasts a higher peak brightness. Both have Gorilla Glass 5 protection up top, IP52 rating is there, both phones promise two years of main OS updates. The G85 is powered by a 6 nanometer chip versus a 4 nanometer chip on the CMF Phone 1, so that would be interesting to see. Finally, same battery capacity and same charging speeds in terms of camera, 50 megapixel rear cameras on both, although the sensors are different, LYT600 on the Motorola, while the IMX882 is on the CMF Phone 1. Now, before we go any further, consider hitting that red subscribe button for detailed tech videos and also turn on the bell so that you don't miss any of our latest updates. Hello everyone, I'm Anir of Fiber by India today and welcome to the battery brain test comparison between the Motorola G85 and the CMF Phone 1. Let's get started. As always, we kick off by booting up both devices and the CMF Phone 1 starts up first while the Moto G85 takes its own sweet time. So both phones on the table have dark mode enabled and are connected to the same Wi-Fi network. The brightness and audio are set at 50%, vivid color profile is set, 120Hz mode is enabled and of course both the phone's batteries are at 100%. We kick off with the 2 hour YouTube video playback and first up a quick shout out to the Moto G85 for the phone doesn't look like a sub 20,000 rupees device. I mean the curved P OLED display just makes it look expensive. That said the flat AMOLED panel with a rather chunky bezel bezels and a chin is actually better than the G85's display practically. I say this because the CMF Phone 1 has a brighter panel and in terms of tuning too, I found it to be more vibrant. As for Motorola, the color calibration is good and I think the natural tones this display skews will be well appreciated. However, the brightness here could be an issue if you use your phone a lot outside. You see, in indoor situations, both phones would suffice for all your needs. However, take them outside and that's where the CMF Phone 1 excels. Again, not that Motorola G85 screen is unusable outside, but brightness in high brightness mode on the G85, which by the way is not disclosed by the company, definitely takes a hit when compared to 1000 nits brightness support in high brightness mode on the CMF Phone 1. So aesthetics wise, why not? The G85 has a great curved screen with good colors and if you mostly use your phone indoors, you won't be disappointed. However, from an overall perspective, the CMF Phone 1 has a brighter and a more vibrant panel. With that, we are done with the two hour of YouTube video playback and the Motorola G85 has taken the lead by a slight margin at 90% battery. This one is left with and the CMF Phone 1 is right behind with 89% battery. With that, it is now time to run an hour of 1080p video recording and while both phones are at it, here's a look at the camera specs of both devices. The Motorola G85 has a dual rear camera system featuring a 50 megapixel primary camera that is the Sony LYT600 sensor paired with an 8 megapixel ultra wide angle camera and a 32 megapixel selfie snapper. Video recording capabilities are capped at 1080p 30fps for both the front and rear cameras. 
The CMF Phone 1 on the other hand also has a dual rear camera system featuring a 50 megapixel Sony IMX 882 primary camera, a 2 megapixel depth sensor and a 16 megapixel selfie snapper. In terms of video recording, the rear camera supports up to 4K 30fps while the front supports up to 1080p 60fps recording. Now here are some of the comparison photos of the Motorola G85 and the CMF Phone 1 side by side. Let me know in the comments which phone you think took the better photos. Of course, for a detailed overview of the camera, the CMF Phone 1 review is already live you can check it out as for the motorola g85 well we will soon come with a dedicated comparison video of the g85 versus the cmf phone one so stay tuned for that with that we are done with the 1080p video recording round as well and right now the both phones are tied with 76 percent battery left on both Alrighty, it is now time to run some benchmarks to get an idea if both phones are put under heavy loads in the real world which one is going to give the better endurance First up, the specs. The Motorola G85 is powered by the 6 nanometer Snapdragon 6S Gen 3 SoC coupled with up to 12 GB RAM and up to 256 GB storage. The CMF Phone 1 on the other hand is powered by the MediaTek Dimensity 7300 SoC coupled with up to 8 GB RAM and 128 GB storage standard on both variants. Now testing the raw compute power of both phones in Geekbench 6, the CMF Phone 1 with its Dimensity 7300 chip punches above its weight while registering about 3000 in multi-core performance versus Moto G85's 2100. In Anthu 2 as well, the CMF Phone 1's Dimensity 7300 flexes its raw power with an almost 200,000 lead over the 6S Gen 3 powered Moto G85. The individual GPU score is also much better on the CMF Phone 1. In the 3D Mark stress test, while both phones scored a solid stability of 99%, the loop scores of the CMF Phone 1 are just double than the Motorola G85. Finally, in the CPU throttle test, the Motorola G85 finally redeemed itself with a solid 91% score. However, the CMF Phone 1 also registered a pretty good 80% score. So here are the benchmark scores of both phones on your screens right now. You can pause and take a look. So a little over four hours have passed in the testing and uh, the G85 has again taken the lead. It's now left with 63% uh, battery while the CMF Phone 1 is left with 61% battery. So when it comes to gaming, first of all, both of these are not gaming phones and you shouldn't even consider them if uh, smartphone gaming is your main priority. Instead, you can think of uh, these phones that can handle some light gaming. Yes, they can run your BGMIs and the Call of Duties uh, with 60 FPS settings, but uh, don't expect the best graphics. Also note that uh, during sustained gaming sessions, both these phones don't heat up that much, so we expect an efficient performance. However, when it comes to lags and stutters, well, they are more prominent on the Motorola G85. So in between the two, while both are not the ultimate gaming phones, the CMF Phone 1 is still the better one when it comes to gaming. Plus the flat display on the CMF Phone 1 versus Motorola G85's curved panel handles mistouches much better. All right, we're done with the gaming round as well and I have to say a pretty solid showing from both phones in this round. So still uh, the G85 is in the lead with 52% battery left while the CMF Phone 1 is right behind with 49% battery left. With that, we are in the last leg of our battery drain test comparison. I will now run an hour of Instagram on both phones here, but without keeping you waiting until the last minute, I am going to fast forward to the six hour mark. And with that, the Motorola G85 finishes with 45% battery left while the CMF Phone 1 finishes with 42% battery left. Here's an hour by hour breakdown of the battery drain of both phones on your screens right now. So all right, the numbers are out and no doubt the results could have gone either way. I mean, both these phones are two of the best battery life phones I've seen in the sub 20,000 rupees price segment and they don't even have a 5500 mAh battery like the Nord C4 Lite. But jokes apart, with 5000 mAh battery on both, endurance is the last thing you're going to worry about. However, which is the better one among the two overall? I would say for general performance and stuff, you can go for the Motorola and you should be just fine. However, if you want a phone that can also handle some gaming, although it is not exactly a gaming phone, in that case, you should be better off with the CMF Phone 1. And of course, with the CMF Phone 1, the overall user experience, the software experience is also snappier and you get a slightly brighter display. That said, I do have some strong points on why you should consider the Motorola G85 over the CMF Phone 1. And to address that, I will see you guys very soon with Imam on my side when we compare the G85 with the CMF Phone 1 in Tech Tucker 2.0 only on Fiber Hindi. But for now, I will be signing off. I'll catch you all in the next one. Till then, take care of yourself and thank you for watching.